Hi, uh, in this video, before going to the descriptive part, we are going to see uh, dynamic events in uh, Venus, a very close Venus of geology. Now, uh, I have with me a model to represent the diagram, the representation diagram of deep veins, the perforator veins, or we call it, or their type of communicating veins, and the superficial veins. Now, I have with me model showing uh, you can uh, clearly see here that this is the part of deep vein mode right and this is the perforator vein and this is the superficial compartment now uh, deep veins are uh, generally accompanying the artery and they are close to the mus muscles so that they are direct in pressure with the muscle and when the muscle compresses the blood movement is affected by them and now uh, superficial veins as we know they are just uh, uh, the level of superficial fascia and just below the skin, cutis, uh, subcutis, alright. And this is the perforating vein. Like we have connections uh, in different compartments, we have connections between them also. The deep vein is communicating with the superficial vein by a perforator vein. Now, uh, the marking you can uh, see here that they are valves, alright. These are valves located intermittently in the path of vein. Likewise, here we can also see the valves. Here also we see this. Now what is the function of valves? For example, a column of blood uh, here is located. Now when it, it, it is injected upward, now when the pressure becomes low, alright, there is a pulse of pressure when it comes, uh, it goes from here to here. Now when the pressure is uh, low, which is not compelling blood to move upwards, then these valves close so that this segment of blood which was passed from this upwards this does not goes downwards now this is known as the potential of veins now likewise here we can see the communication for example when uh, this vein will be filling this area all right superficial veins will be communicating with deep veins through this so there and the deep veins now uh, to tell you more again about that for example the deep veins and, and deep uh, deep uh, veins, be it valves or superficial veins, we also valves, how they work. For example, when the blood uh, goes from low side to upper side, the valves get open, alright, due to high pressure. And when the pressure is low, they become closed, like this, so that the, this blood is not allowed to pass from this area. For the sake of understanding, I have divided this in the contraction phase and the relaxation phase. Now, in the first contraction phase, uh, when the muscle contracts, uh, for example, we are specifically talking about in the conceptual knowledge of lower limbs. So, when the calf muscle contract during walking, the blood rushes down upwards rapidly, uh, which actually it generates a pressure around 3 mm of Hg, which is very sufficient to move that upwards and efficient. Now, when the valves uh, so uh, resulting into the opening of valves you can see the opening of valves there are two leaflets now valves are necessary for the unilateral flow of blood for example when the blood tries to or when it uh, re when the muscle relaxes the blood do not come downwards because the valves which are in this direction uh, in this phase gets converts to into this phase so the blood here do not comes <coughs> downwards now concentrating into this phase as the blood is moving rapidly into this so there are chances of flowing of blood here which is ultimately will flow in the superficial vein now our body a body wants to compensate that that is that is to say our body tries to prevent that so that they are wells also put in in the perforator vein this is a perforator vein so when the blood rushes to here it's the same concept the valves closes here so the blood here do not come into the superficial veins which later give rise to incompetency of uh, due to incompetency of perforator vein it gives rise to the very cold veins now I have also recorded a video of valve physics of venous uh, filling and uh, uh, other uh, concepts you can click on this spot label to go to that video now coming back to here so this was it uh, the muscle contraction pump now when the relaxation phase now it is a main phase by which the superficial vein can uh, flows their blood or carry their blood or it they 
releases their blood into a deep compartment how when the muscle uh, the here when the muscle relaxes the deep vein get vein and the muscle around this become contract so it will create pressure on the lateral valves which convert this into this size very narrow when it is uh, okay it is narrow now when it relaxes it regains its shapes all right due to smooth muscles uh, relaxation now when it becomes uh, calibrized it becomes more uh, more uh, wider so the pressure goes down so uh, due to the pressure differences the uh, biophysics of uh, blood of fluids the blood from here easily uh, due to high pressure relatively high pressure in this compartment it pushes the blood into deep veins that's how the superficial veins carry their blood into deep veins as we know the concept that uh, the superficial veins finally uh, drains into deep veins which carry on the blood to the heart ultimately so they are uh, superficial veins have to find the way into deep vein where they can uh, fill the deep vein easily from the blood spool so the perforator vein competence is very important